It is football 101 as 60 plus campers, fourth grade through eighth grade, are learning the ins and outs of football from the Mid County staff and some of its players. And certainly the fundamental thought out here is teaching the fundamentals. Even with the high school kids, we're just trying to make it as fun as we possibly can. I mean, football's supposed to be fun. That's, that's why the kids come out here and stuff. So uh, yesterday and today, we're just trying to teach the, some of the younger kids some skills. And then uh, tomorrow is when the fun really starts. We're going to start playing some flag football games, work on punt, pass, and kick, have a little competition for them. And, just keep it as fun as they can so they stay interested. Uh, the junior high kids is a little bit different. We're starting to try to teach them the new offense and defense this next couple weeks. So they got a season coming up and they got to get prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Do you can you see a good jump? You know, from Monday till the end of the week, like uh, some kids just really kind of their grasp goes boom. You know, all of a sudden uh, they're they're a little bit more football smart. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. Everything we're doing with the junior high kids this week is something new for them. The offense and the defense we're putting in is different than what they had last year in the past. And with the elementary kids, I mean, yeah, we have kids that show up the first day and don't even know how to hold a football correctly to throw it, and don't even know how to get in a football stance. And and by the end of the week, we've we've taken care of all those little things and hopefully given them some skills that'll make them more successful in the future. Mm -hmm. Do you find that as enriching as a coach too? It's like, yeah, you're focused on the high school kids, but to be able to invest in young minds like that and kids are so eager, it's uh, that, that might be one of the fun parts of this job. Oh yeah, in order to be successful, and I'd like to be here for a long time and be successful, it, it's with these kids. I mean, I've got to get them into the program and get to know them and, and, and make them want to play when they get into high school. And that's just kind of something why we're doing this here now and having the fun with them so that you know they know who I am and when they get to ninth grade, they're ready to play for me. Is that something that's important to you? It's like, I don't care if it's the NBA or college, whatever, establishing relationships and, and a good rapport. Oh, yeah, I think that's the most important thing in building a program is to work with the younger kids and to, just to keep them active throughout. There are several connecting points out here, from coach to player and player to player. Several of the players from the high school football team are making the connection with the younger crowd, and those young eyes have high appreciation for that. Your stance, your first steps, like your assignments, that's about it. I mean, that's about all you can teach in a week. Mm -hmm. Just like framing up a block and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Tell me, it's just like these guys look at you like you guys are in the NFL, the high school kids too. I mean, what responsibility goes with that? I mean, if as far as being a role model and those kind of things. Well, you can't like if you can't get in trouble. Like, say if a kid's looking up to me and I get in trouble, then it looks bad, and you just got to make sure that you're being responsible and not doing anything stupid. Mm -hmm. What do you see when you look at those little guys? You know, do you see yourself in any of those guys? You know? No, no. I always think like when I look back, even like I have a little brother who's going to be a freshman. Like when he played baseball in the league, I always thought we were better than that. I thought we were taller than that. It's seems like the kids get smaller every year. Mm -hmm. Because that's because you're hitting bigger. Right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Where can the how how can this help you as a football player? Do you feel like you know this is all part of the summer, you know, part of that building process for you to have a great senior year? I mean, um, I guess how much value is there this week? Is it the same as lifting and, and, and team camp and stuff like that? That uh, you know that maybe this is just part of a cool part of the process. Well, yeah, because it's just kind of a review of like the easy things that you forget about and we don't go over as much. To where now we're working on a new offense and a new defense, and it's just a reminder of like what the stuff that's really important, like mm -hmm. the fundamentals. Well, I think the coaches are just trying to get across like the basic skills, trying to get us ready for the new football year going on. Mm -hmm. What are the basic skills, and what are some things that you definitely want to get get better at this week? Um, um, the footwork, the speed, the strength. Tell me about that, you know, at a young age, you know, uh a lot of kids want to be out by the pool, you know. Talk about the decision to, to get involved in a camp like this. Why is it so important? Well, it's important because if you want to really be on the football team, you might as well go to the camp because the coaches are going to spot you there and you'll have a better chance of getting better before the season starts. Mm -hmm. What's it mean having a couple high school kids helping you out too? I think it's a privilege because they're teaching us their fundamentals that they learned in high school. I'm a quarterback, so I want to learn how like, to snap the ball, how to look at all my, look at all my decisions before I make a decision. Mm -hmm. What are the coaches trying to get across to you too? Do you sense that uh, they've got a definite game plan for you guys on here? I think they have a good game plan. They could just come in like to help out, to help us out, so we'll be better. Like when we get in high school, when we get closer to it, so we'll be better football players. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you when uh, when the high school kids are helping coach too? When it's help, when the high school kids are helping, it makes it seem like more like we're going to learn more because we're learning what they know, and we should, we're probably sure that they know more than middle schoolers. And that's what I told the high school guys. If you guys can come and teach this stuff to the little kids, that shows me that you know it well enough that you're able to teach it. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, it's nice for the older kids.
kids to be here, and a lot of little kids look up to them, and they know who these kids are. And when they come to our games, they can say, hey, I saw Taylor Roberts, or I saw Parker White at camp. And, and when these kids are having success in the field, they kind of have a connection with them then. Mm -hmm. And that kind of throws them into role model status. Right. How healthy right. is that, do you think, for your guys? You know? I think that's pretty good. I mean, like I said, I want the little kids to think, oh, I want to be the next Taylor Roberts, or, you know, and, and it's good that Taylor has the little kids looking up to him also, mm -hmm. kind of. I bet you have a, him lot, a little boost. Yeah, a lot of moms watching and stuff too. I mean, uh, is that something too that that's important to you? This is this is somebody's little guy. You know, right, you want to right. With great great honor and that. Sure. Regard, yeah. Too, right? Yeah. Is that how important is that, and, and how much value is there in that that you just embrace who these guys are as young people too? Well, I think it's very important. I mean, I, I care about all these kids and stuff, and and sure, I this is somebody's little guy, and I'm going to take as good a care of them as I would of my own kids. Race to go. All right. So we're gonna chance to do that, right? 